I'm Jayashi Chandrasekhar, graduate student working under the guidance of Dr. Sharma Walia. I'm working on studying the role of lipoxins in Kaposi sarcoma associated herpes virus infection. Lipoxins, Nature's Way to Resolve Inflammation is a review article presenting the lipoxin action mechanisms and their clinical relevance. Why study inflammation? Inflammation is one of the 10 leading causes of death in the United States. Still, we don't have an effective treatment method. We wanted to investigate the potential applications and impacts of one of nature's own anti-inflammatory molecule, lipoxin. Lipoxins are endogenous anti-inflammatory pro-resolving molecules that play a vital role in reducing excessive tissue injury and chronic inflammation. There are two main phases of inflammation. The initiation phase, where pro-inflammatory molecules like leukotrienes and prostaglandins play an important role in mounting inflammation reaction. And the resolution phase, where molecules like lipoxins and resolvents come into action. Lipoxins can be synthesized through two major routes from arachidonic acid. In addition, lipoxin epimers can be formed under the influence of aspirin treatment. There are three major lipoxinases that are involved in lipoxin synthesis from arachidonic acid, 5, 15, and 12 lipoxinase. Mechanism of action of lipoxin is not only limited to cytoplasmic signaling molecules, but also influence gene expression by acting on transcription factors. Several studies on animal models have shown the efficacy of using lipoxins in treating inflammation-related diseases of respiratory tract, cancer, renal diseases, and neurodegenerative disease. The role of lipoxin in viral infection-related diseases is yet to be explored. A recent publication from our laboratory has shown that lipoxin treatment on Kaposi sarcoma cell line helps to reduce pathogenesis by downregulating angiogenic and pro-inflammatory factors. Unpublished data from our research work has shown that de novo Kaposi sarcoma associated herpes virus infection downregulates anti-inflammatory lipoxin pathway for its own survival and pathogenesis. This observation has paved the way for future studies to look into how lipoxin treatment could modify viral gene expression and be used in the treatment of KSHV infection. Lipoxins were discovered almost four decades ago, yet their potential application as a drug to treat inflammatory diseases has not yet reached clinical stage. Further studies are required to explore the therapeutic potential of lipoxins.